Let's talk about the best thing that happened to the FPV in the 2022. Let's talk about the WTF OS for your DJI goggles, air units and vistas. And let's answer some of the questions that you might be asking. The first question is, does it really work? Yeah, it does. And you know what? And it does almost everything that the original firmware for your DJI FPV hardware was failing to deliver. So yeah, aha, uh -huh, that's pretty, pretty awesome. The second question, is WTF OS worth flashing? And the answer is, I think so, yes. Because seems like you lose basically nothing, but you gain quite a lot. And of course, the most important gain is the MSP display port, which allows you to have the full-blown OSD in your DJI goggles Finally. Plus, you can get additional features like, for example, the audio downlink. But still, the OSD, in my opinion, is just the biggest gain out there. Oh, do me a favor, hit the like button and write in the comments what you think about the WTF OS. Do you think that, like I do, it's the best thing that happened to the RC and FPV hobby for a very, very, very long time or not so much? Let's have a nice discussion. Thanks, it means a lot and it helps to grow the channel. Does it work with all the DJI FPV hardware? Yes. It works with V1 goggles, V2 goggles, FPV goggles, not the DJI goggles 2 that just appeared on the market recently. It works with the Air Units, Vistas, Runcam Links, all the hardware. So to think about it, all the FPV hardware DJI offers or offered until this point. But is it hard to install WTF OS and the required packages to have, for example, the OSD? The answer is that it's simple. I was really surprised how simple the process is. Originally, I even wanted to record a tutorial on how to do it. But then I realized that tutorial is just too much because all that you really have to do is you have to have your hardware with the correct firmware. It has to be 0606. Then you connect the hardware, open the WTF OS configurator, first root it by clicking on the root button. After rooting is done, you just install the WTF OS and then install the packages. It's only a few clicks away. No CLI mambo jumbo terminal connecting to something crap. No, everything is super simple, user-friendly, graphical user interface. Click, click, click. It takes some time, but it doesn't require any technical knowledge. Does it work with Betaflight? Yes, it does. Does it work with iNav? Yes, it does. Does it work with Ardu Pilot? One more time, yes, it does. The WTF OS crew did everything like they should be doing because they provided compatibility for every flight controller, major flight controller firmware out there. If you can configure it and upload the correct fonts to the goggles, everything will work just like that. Next question is, do you have to flash every hardware at once to have basically the working setup? And the answer is no, you only have to flash the elements on which you want to have all the functions. So probably you will do have to flash the goggles and then flash the air units or vistas on the quads on the airplanes where you want to use the new features. But the flashed and the rooted goggles will work no problem with not flashed air units and vistas. And the same goes the other way because the flashed and rooted air units and vistas will work with not flashed and not rooted goggles. All the new features are provided on top of the standard features of the DJI FPV system. Does the DVR record the OSD finally? Unfortunately, no. You only see OSD, you cannot record the OSD with the DVR in the goggles. Too bad, but that's unfortunately the reality right now. The final question is, can you use custom fonts? And one more time, the answer is yes. 
the WTFOS team provides you the standard set of the fonts, but they also provide you with the instruction on how to build basically any font that you can use with analog OSD to be compatible with WTFOS. And what's also super fancy, you can use color fonts. But there is a catch. You cannot change the colors of the letters on the fly, but certain icons and symbol can be color. You can have the green battery sign or the red depleted battery if you really find the correct font. And where to store the fonts? You just store the fonts on the goggles on the SD card in the root directory. It works like a charm. And now, here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!